Hi, sweet friend. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a kindergarten and first degree teacher in Northern California. It is the first, mon not Monday, Tuesday, back from break, and I have a lot to do. So unfortunately, I cannot chat with you this morning because I have to get ready for all things that are back to school. I told myself that I was gonna come on the weekend. I told myself I was going to do this and that and this and that and come here early today and just do all these things to get prepared. I did plan last night, so I at least know, but I did not prepare physically for all the things today. It's okay. So I'm gonna pray and get ready for my day. I have a lot actually that I need to get done in 15 minutes, so let's do it. Hello, it is obviously after school. We're not at school anymore. I did not have any energy to stay and talk to you guys. And it's been a long time since I vlogged at, oh, it's been so long that I, since I vlogged at home that I, actually we redid our living room. The lighting in here is super dim right now, but we got um, a new couch. This is a leather couch. I'll try to put the link in the description box. This couch is our favorite thing. Every single night we both sit on it and we're like, I love this couch. So this is our new couch. She's so comfy. Got little bookshelf going on. Um, new table. This is Tesla's pet bed right here. Um, we got console table and all that fun stuff. And I don't think I've shown it to you yet because it's still new. So today was just one of those days where it's like I tried so hard to make it work. I tried so hard to have a good mood, but even from like this morning, it was just, it just wasn't a good day. So I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go too much into detail about it. It wasn't anything that was like majorly bad. It was just one thing on top of another thing on top of another thing. And a big majority, a majority of it was, I couldn't get anything printed. And then once things got printed, I couldn't get anything copied. And I left my computer charger at school. Deep breath. See, it's just one thing on top of another thing. I was gonna vlog and do some lifestyle stuff. I don't know, we'll see how I feel because right now I don't feel good. I'm waiting for John to come home. We're gonna work out. We're doing 10 rounds right now, which is the Beachbody program. I actually started it and I did week one and I was like, John, please do this one with me. So we're doing it together. Hopefully I'll feel better after that because I feel not good right now. I am trying so hard whenever I have moments like this where I don't feel like myself and I just feel like I'm struggling not to just shy away from the camera because I want to be always super transparent with you guys, but it's so easy for me to be like, nope, I'm just gonna take time to myself. But I want you to know like, this is a day where I am absolutely struggling and it's gonna be fine, it will. Things will get done. My aide also wasn't here today. So yeah, my life feels like it's a mess right now, but hopefully things get better. And you know what, maybe me leaving my computer charger at school is just a sign that I don't need to do whatever it is I felt like I needed to do. But I will say, I had a lot of guilt because today was 2 2 Tuesday, February 22nd. I didn't do anything. And my school did this thing where like, we're tied, I do this, do that. And I totally dropped the ball, didn't do anything. And people have been asking me for weeks, Maylene, what are you gonna do? And I was like, I don't really know. And you know what I could have done? I could have asked every single kid in my class to wear our tie-dye shirts that we made because a bunch of people wore tie-dye today for 2 2 Tuesday. But did I do that? No, and I just totally dropped the ball. And it's one of those things where you feel guilty as a teacher, even though your kids don't know any different. They do not care. I think one of my kids, or two of my kids actually did wear tie-dye today because they they actually <laughs> read the memo from the school and I completely forgot. But <sighs> good news is we're home. Little couch. Tesla also loves the couch. Also for everything in our living room, I have a highlight on Instagram and I have links to everything. So go check there too, if you wanna to link to anything in my living room. Okay, my day already got better. First thing I did was I changed. We're gonna box. I think today's actually a lifting day, not a boxing day, but it started raining. So I'm opening the windows. I'm gonna get some nice rain, breezy air in here. I, one of the things that I really miss about Tennessee is the weather and the rain. And it's so funny because now I'm so much of a Californian that the second it starts raining, I'm like, it's raining. And I open all the windows. Um, so. You got your water bottle. You got your water bottle. Off, off, off. She's just outside. We had to wipe your paws. She's like, mom, why can't I go on the couch? Cause you're wet. <laughs> okay. 
It is 6.23. We're trying to decide what we wanted for dinner. We hand me that cookbook. We also worked out. So there's that. We want to make... Ooh, this sounds good though. I have this cookbook that I bought whenever we redid our living room because I was like, I need some decorative books. But um, this one has some really, really fun, easy recipes in it. So we haven't made any of them yet, but we want to make... Yeah. We want to make this. It's sheet pan Cuban steak, but we don't have lime juice because we forgot to get that. We have everything else except, do we have, ba we have Bailey's, right? Yeah. But we're going to make that tomorrow when we have lime juice. And for tonight, we are making what? We're eating almonds. We're going to make chicken sausage and, and John's going to cut that. Thanks, babe. Hey, I missed it when you were chopping. A moment to appreciate our meal prepped fridge. What do you need? Bell peppers. You want me to cut one or two? Mm -hmm. Probably so they have to cut two. Yeah. So we'll check it, check it. I don't know. I don't know about them. So chicken sausage, potatoes, carrots, and. Carrots? Or, I was just thinking about carrots. Good morning, it's Tuesday. The weather has gotten so cold. Brought my big puffy, oh, it's not Tuesday, it's Wednesday. I have morning duty, dang it. Good thing I brought my big puffy jacket. <laughs> we didn't have school Monday, yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday. It is pajama day for my class because one of my little girls was very excited to give me this coupon yesterday. So I sent out a message, actually, it's so funny because if the kids need to bring home like, a form or something for school. Will they remember? No. If they know it's pajama day, will they remember? Absolutely. I had like four parents message me before I sent out a message saying, tomorrow's pajama day. Like four parents messaged me and said, so-and-so is talking about how tomorrow is pajama day. Is that true? And I was like, yep, it's true. Let's hope the printers work for me today. It is not even 7 a.m. and I'm here because I just have stress in my brain. I want to prepare. I want to get things ready. This is one of those weeks where I am not doing anything groundbreaking. I'm not doing anything unique or exciting. I am just straight. We are teaching. We are trying to get through what we need to do. Kindergarten and first grade this week, we're using their math books, and I don't have a problem with using math books. You'll notice most of the time I don't, because most of the time I like things to be hands-on. I like them to come up to the whiteboard. I like them to have their whiteboards. I like them, them to have manipulatives in front of them, kindergarten and first grade. So I don't do a ton with their math books, even though the kinder math books, they say like put manipulatives on top of the pictures. A lot of times I don't use their math books, but for what we're doing right now, they just have simple, problems in the book just maybe like between two pages five or six problems for kinder and then obviously more for first grade but it's exactly what we need this week i don't want to go and like search for things because my curriculum already has it in there and it's not like that every time but i do want to make it clear that i don't always go out of my way to find something else to use i do use my curriculum when i can and this week we're doing that the other thing on my brain is i have a lot of testing to do and just a lot of things overall and it's just so hard because I want to have time to teach but then I also have to test two different grades a bunch of different assessments and it's like I want to pull small groups but then again I need time to test these are all just the things that are overwhelming they're just overwhelming 
which is why we're here early. I also, I love sharing resources that I buy with you guys. And I obviously am a big fan of Jen Jones, Hello Literacy. And she lately has done a lot of work in making her resources more aligned with the science of reading. And I love learning from her anyway. And I, there is still so much to learn from things that she's shared in the past, whether or not they're fully aligned with the science of reading. I just love her. But she did release um, some new decoder, but I wanted to share it with you and kind of show you what one of the resources looks like. There's a pink set, an orange set, and I think a yellow set. And this is what it looks like. A pink set, and then there's different levels of books, and you can like click it and it'll take you to the book. Um, but you get the decodable. And then at the end of the decodable, you have some practice, you have some comprehension questions, you have just the whole decodable here that they can run through. We are back in the groove of things. I feel so much better. I think the problem is we just couldn't do things like normal yesterday and it just made me feel off. But we did our shared writing today. Um, I did have to really talk to them for a couple minutes because there was a lot of interruptions. There were a lot of people trying to turn and play. Just a lot was happening during our read aloud time. And I let them know like we have times in the day that we need to learn and we have times in the day that we get to play and we get breaks. And when we're learning, we have to be focused on learning. And I was like, we're gonna get done with everything we need to get done today. And I told them, I was like, if we don't get through everything today, we're not gonna do free choice. We have so much to do today. And of course I wouldn't take their whole free choice time, but I didn't tell them that. And they immediately were like, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do now. I'm ready to learn. We did our shared writing. I have been letting Kinder come up and help me a little bit, but today we, again, I was really pushing it for time. So I didn't, I'm gonna be really intentional about that next week and give them like a lot more opportunities to come up today. I just couldn't. My first graders write a lot with us and this is helpful to me because we're writing this together but I can see my students like when I'm sitting there modeling it for them I'm saying capital letter I'm saying finger spaces I'm saying punctuation we're doing it word by word so I can see students who maybe they're still missing things here or uh -huh, one of my students put her there are blanks for our words. But I can see a lot from these because we're doing it together. And so it kind of gives me, I guess, a standard for them when it comes to their own writing. So if they can't do it when we're doing it together, they're not gonna be able to do it independently. And then if they can do it when we're doing it together, they might need to slow down or just need extra reminders. Like she forgot a period on the very last sentence. I can see the finger spaces. I can see the capital letter. I can see the punctuation on almost all of these. They're using all the lowercase letters. A lot of times my first graders at the beginning of the year, they would mix up um, and write a capital letter in the middle of a word, but I'm not seeing any of that here. So I'm actually really impressed with these shared writings we did today. Okay, it is the end of the day. I honestly, I feel pretty good about today. Was it the best day? No, but I feel like we got a lot done and that's why I feel good about it. Um, I tried to film some, I don't know how much I filmed. What if love was something a robot just could not compute? Characters have problems. problems. I want you to think for five seconds, what is his problem right now? You may turn and tell a partner. What is Z's problem right now? What's his problem? Oh, okay, my turn. I heard a lot of you say the same thing. His problem was he can't find Beatrice. Beatrice. And why does he want to find Beatrice? So he can see what love means. So he can see what love means. And right now he's feeling so lost. Do you remember when we read the smart cookie and he was feeling lost at school. Yeah. yeah. That's how Z is feeling too. They feel the same. They feel the same way, except Z is actually lost at sea, huh? <laughs> Hello, we're on a quest. Uh, never mind. Why did Z say never mind? Why didn't he just tell her? Girl. Your mask is not for flossing. <laughs> It's for protecting, okay? It's for, okay. It's for no, not for flossing. Why did he say, we're on a quest? Never mind. Why would he say that, Richard? Yeah, he just, he thought he would never find Beatrice. He said, why even bother telling people we're on a quest? It's hopeless, I can't find her anyway. The old rusty robots arrived unannounced. 
Say unannounced. Unannounced. What does it mean when you announce something? Ooh, great job. She said speak out. Say speak out. Speak out. Good. Have you ever heard, I have an announcement. When you announce something, you speak it out loud. You say it. So if the robots came unannounced, did they speak out that they were coming? No. No, they did not announce it. Unannounced means they did not announce we get free choice. If we do not finish everything we have to do today, we will not have our free choice. <gasps> what? We need to use our learning time for what? Learning. learning. We have to use our learning time for learning. I need you guys to show me that you can do your best when we are learning. What do we do right after we do our writing? We go outside. outside and you get your break then. Is now the time when you should be interrupting, when you should be playing, when you should be talking to your friends? No, you are about to have a break when we go outside. Side. I need you to show me. What's the feeling he was feeling? Love. Love. All of those things he felt before finally had a Wow. Name. He finally knew what to call it. In the beginning, In the beginning what happened? Z found a bottle. Z found oh, a bottle. bottle. It said, Love Beatrice. And he thought, What is love? So he set out on a quest. That's the word. He set out on a quest, an adventure, looking for something. Say Z, Z went, went looking for love. Looking for love. Z went looking for love. Or actually we should say looking for Beatrice, Beatrice right? Z went on a quest to look for Beatrice. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. I'm a writing superstar. Five years old, goals I know by her. Capital letter. All my fingers, faces, feet, teeth, words. I'm the best you can. Punch you, wish you, wish you, wish you, wish you, wish and Jess, will you do our best? Okay, ready? Because we are low on time. Z went on a quest. Z went, ready? What's the first sound? Finger spaces between words. We just started learning about our, hold on, just started learning about our blends, blend. our blends, right? Two letters smushed together. Say quest. quest. Do you hear the blend, yes or no? Yes. Yes, quest. What's the first part of that blend? Good, what letter? S. S. Oh, C can say C sometimes, but it's an S. Understood. Say understood. understood. We're gonna separate it. Say under. Understood. What's the first word? Under. Under. Ready? Under. Two, Two. syllables. What's the first syllable? Un. Ready? Uh. U N. U N. Good. Let's clap under. Ready? Under. What's the last syllable? Two. Yep. What's the last syllable? On der. Ready? D, d. What letter? D. D. Good. Make a C. Like keep your hands to yourself. Then close the door. What two letters are gonna make the er sound? E R. E R. Beautiful. We just spelled the word under. Understood. I hear a blend at the beginning. Kindergartners. What? Say stood. stood. Do you hear the blend? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. St, 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 st. What two letters make the st sound? S T. S T. Good job, kindergarten. Genuinely, this week I am doing a lot of testing. I want to get it over with because I am so bad about normally doing things last minute when it comes to testing and then getting overwhelmed. I think the thing that I miss the most though about this K1 combo class, and I've said it before, I love teaching the combo class, but the one thing that I just wish I had more time for, if I could pick one thing, it would be writing. And you guys have seen in my vlogs week after week, I'm like, okay, this is how I'm working around writing. This is how I'm working around writing. We're taking today to do writing instead of our like wonders stuff. I try in so many ways to incorporate it throughout the day during our read alouds we do writing every single week but I just wish and I miss 
that built-in writing block where we could go so deep into writing where we could make books and do all of these things and I tried so hard at the beginning of the year to do that and it just didn't work but I genuinely miss that structure and that routine of a solid writing block and seeing all of that progression I might take April and kind of pause from the wonders because I really I really miss it and I miss seeing like how proud of the work that they get it's just it's one of my favorite things math we did keep things super simple I didn't film it because it was super simple for kindergarten I just had these math pages that we're doing with subtraction simple nothing really to show you the thing that I struggled with today was behaviors kindergarten behaviors mostly I had so many chances today to fix it to do what they were supposed to be doing but they just would not and I gave them so many chances and I kept reminding them you're using your free time now you're using this time to play we're supposed to be learning there's a time to work there's a time to play you're using your play time now gave them so many chances one-on-ones none of it clicked so anyways it is time for me to go home I have nothing that I need to do so we'll see if I see you at home or if I see you tomorrow. Okay, I'm home. I have changed into workout clothes. Um, John's not here yet. Tesla, get out of there. I was just about to do some boring home things like the dishes. But why not turn on the camera? I feel like I just have been overthinking what I should vlog and what I'm not going to vlog. I also am going to eat one of these chomps. We get these when we go to Trader Joe's. They're expensive, but... I like them and they're very, not healthy. Healthy is not the word I want to say. They're very straightforward is what I'll say in terms of like ingredients and what's in them. And I guess they're only like 60 calories. Just achieved my move goal, unloading the dishwasher. So there you go. <laughs> I've been trying to be really good about keeping up with dishes and house things and cooking and working out and just get myself back to where I feel like I was before, honestly, before Christmas break. Um, ever since then, things have just been kind of going downhill and I felt like my life was a mess, but dishes and cooking and all of those things, I am either an all in or I'm a nothing girl. Like I am either cooking almost every night and keeping up with everything or the entire house is a wreck and all I want to do is eat fast food. So John and I are doing much better. We're working out together and I just want to be in a place again where I'm feeling good. So maybe it's good that I'm sharing this with you guys in case you're in a funk too. Um, Cause dang it, I forgot my coffee mugs. I left both of these coffee mugs at school. Oh well. <laughs> but maybe you are in a funk too and you need some motivation to get out of it. We spent um, this past week, we were on break for a week at my school and I spent so much of that time just literally cleaning my house. I, again, I just kind of felt overwhelmed with all of my stuff and everything that we had. And so I went through and I was going through like the whole house and just trying to declutter as much as I could. I can show you what that mess looks like. It is a lot. We are in a spare bedroom, which is the declutter room right now. Just a bunch. Can you see? We're either donating or trashing everything in this room. I know you can't see. This room doesn't actually have like a light. That is hidden away. I still haven't done my office yet. I want to declutter all of my books, especially since I bought my Kindle Oasis. I have been absolutely loving this thing. I do feel bad though. I started a book club with this book and I still haven't finished it because I just have not been making time. But I'm going to wait for John to get home. I think he's picking up a photo order for me for school. And then we're going to work out. So I'm going to eat chomps and stretch and read my book while I wait for him. And that is... <laughs> my exciting after school life today. What's up everybody, I'm Joel, this is my team, and this is 10 rounds speed and hooks. Two, three, and three, two, one, let's go. Two, three, reset. <laughs> now, a couple things to remember. On your board and basic side movement right now, don't worry, as the program progresses, we add on to it, but right now, this is just basic boxing. So, grab your stance. Are you balanced in between both feet? Are you facing? Yeah, you gotta hydrate after that workout. You gotta hydrate. 
So me and John just finished. Oh, we're gonna end the workout. It kind of alternates where you do like one day boxing and then another day you focus on either lower or upper body with like lifting weights. I want one. Yes, I do. I want that one. I just learned that I like these. They do kind of taste exactly like peppers, but for some reason, because they're smaller, it makes me think they're sweeter. I think there are a little. We're gonna make, I'm gonna make little like sourdough pizzas. Today's Friday. Honestly, my microphone was not plugged in for the last couple clips at my house, probably. But it is. It's Friday, and I am so excited. Uh, my lunch, I've just been bringing chicken and broccoli. Very boring. But today, I also brought some snacking peppers, like these sweet peppers. For the longest time, I think I talked about this maybe last night, but for the longest time, I did not eat these because I tried them once in college and I just tried like a bite and I was like, I don't really like them. And ever since I tried them again, I know this is so silly, but if you're a picky eater, then you know. Anyways, I tried them again and I love them. So the other thing I picked up was these Smart Sweets. Honestly, I was gonna get them for someone and then I tried them and I was like, they're not really that good, but I'm gonna eat them anyway. And then I bought some more clicky pens for my classroom, which these are expensive, but I about had a meltdown yesterday. Like I almost had a meltdown yesterday because my kinders were, had to use pencils and it was just, it was terrible. Like even the them writing with a pencil on a paper when the pencil was like half broken and then trying to erase it with an eraser that wasn't there. My like sensory, I can't, mm -mm, nope. So I got some more pens. Oh, I also printed some more photos and I have one student who I had to get their photo yesterday and I was like, do you want me to take your photo now or later? And they said later and guess what? I forgot. I'm glad it's Friday. We only have a couple of things that we need to get done. And I honestly think I'm going to be here this weekend because my classroom needs a reset. And I didn't do it over our last break. And honestly, I should have, but I was enjoying my break. But I actually do need to come and do a reset. But we're about to start our day, so wish me luck. Wow, it is way after school. I'm not even kidding. Look here, I'll take off my watch and show you what time it is. I could show you my phone, but where's the fun in that? <laughs> It is way after school. I do need to leave, but I stayed because I needed to halfway prep a bunch of center things. I really want to revamp my centers. I wanted to do it over break, didn't have time. <clears throat> but um, a lot of the things in my centers, they've been practicing and been practicing and it's ready to just, I'm ready to do a total flip. So I'm gonna try to come tomorrow morning, kind of get it out of the way. But I printed a bunch of things, got a bunch of things ready. So this is from Hello Literacy. I printed a bunch of her decodables. This is all center stuff and writing things that I wanna do with first grade and kindergarten next week because the month of March, I really, really, really kind of hone in on writing and just focus on the writing. We've been doing a lot of reading whole group, a lot of phonics whole group and I want to move that to mostly our small groups so we can focus on writing whole group and I'll obviously do it small groups too but I really just want to shift it to a focus of writing so I spent a few hours kind of deciding what activities to do probably see you guys tomorrow um, but it just goes to show did I even tell you how my day was honestly I don't think it matters I did get our little hot air balloons up. So I'll try to insert a picture here of how they turned out. This is the cutest thing I think I have ever done with my kids. Yeah, you can see some of them hanging 
up there but they're really really excited to take them home i think they're kind of sad they can't take them home yet but they came out super cute so if you feel inspired to do so go save the post on my instagram that way you remember for next year for next february hello it is actually sunday i said i was gonna come yesterday but i didn't however yesterday i did spend a good like four hours honestly getting planned and just getting my honestly myself organized so we're here um and as many times as i've said oh i'm gonna come this weekend this i really haven't come that many times at all this school year but there is just so much maybe i should turn on the lights there's just so much that i have to get done so i thought i would show you guys in this vlog what what i'm here to do so first thing i'm actually gonna do is put on spotify <laughs> most incredible thing I got here at noon it is 517 I'm very disappointed that I stayed this long I should have just cut it short but the way my brain works is I can't do just one task I'm sure a lot of you are the same way but I had to work in like sections around the room so I would do a little bit with our word work and then I'd move a little bit to our writing and then I'd move a little bit to um my storage and then I'd move a little bit to this storage and then I'd move a little bit to my whole group area and I just was doing like 20 different things at once because I was so overwhelmed. So anyways, um, besides updating centers and all of that, I kind of just organized a bunch of spaces, mainly like my teaching spaces. I also hung up the rest of our little hot air balloons over there. What else did I do? I organized the entire library. Some of my labels for my library have fallen off and it's so funny because I have three bins full of elephant and piggy books. And when I was organizing them, I was like, why do I have four bins of elephant and piggy books? And it's because if you give a mouse a cookie label, all of those books, which there's a lot of them, this label fell off and they turned this bin into an elephant and pig piggy bin. And all of these books were spread through like every single book bin. I was like, why can't they put this one away? It, it's very it's very obvious which books these belong to. And it's because the bin totally got mixed up. So I went through and reorganized the entire library. It looks really good now. And I have to hot glue some things, but I forgot to put on hot glue guns. So it's just gonna wait till Monday. So I was mainly keeping our read alouds that I turn into our little book club in two spots. One spot was in a basket over here, but I was only keeping like three book clubs 
here at a time and it's usually the three that I have up here and I'm putting the books for the book club on top of the shelves now instead of in a basket because I think it was confusing to some of my kids because I would find random books in the basket and I'm just going to keep the rest of our read alouds here whenever my kids are doing tablets they are allowed to do tablets or they can read um, the read alouds that we have together and my library kids will sometimes come up and they'll grab a book from there too um, But that made things easier for me just keeping those three books for a book club here instead of like Seven to ten read alouds in a basket um, And it'll keep things looking more clean and organized too. I finally took down our pumpkin sign. We did not grow pumpkins <laughs> We did not grow pumpkin vine we did not do that, but good news is we're going to be growing um, sunflowers and hopefully butterflies here soon. So there will be things here within like a month or so. I moved to the puzzles that my kids have over here to the toys, which just makes more sense if we're being honest. They were over there by the math centers, which I'll show you in a second. Cleaned out my fridge, cleaned out all their cubbies. I mean, five hours worth of things, y'all. Okay. Here is our updated word work center. Also, please remember whenever my kids go to centers, they have their center folder they work on first. So this is all second choice things. They do have specific skills they're working on every single week. Um, but first graders pick from the top shelf, kindergartners pick from the bottom shelf. And the nice thing is I am starting to be able to move some things from first grade down to kindergarten. So things that my first graders started the year with, now my kinders can actually use, like this CBC toolbox right here. That was first grade. Now it's kinder. One of our new options is actually one I borrowed from a teammate. She has this little vowel game where they can make real or nonsense words with these little pieces. So I have that in here and I made a super quick recording sheet here. So they'll write each letter and then write the word. And I just keep some markers in here for them. So if they wanted to take this activity and go work at a table, for example. Another kinder one that I brought back, I can't remember if I have already given this to kinder or if it was first grade at the beginning of the year, but it's this mini eraser game. So they get to erasers, they start back here and they just move up. There are arrows that go with it to tell you which direction to go, but I don't have them. <laughs> Next kinder choice is these Crack the Code cards. These are by Move Mountains in Kindergarten, and I've shown them in my last few vlogs, but it makes a CVC word, so it'd be T-A-B tab. And the last thing, this was in the Kinder Center at the beginning of the year, but it was really more for exposure and they did a lot of building with it, so I took a picture, I'll insert it here if I remember, of what I want them to do, and that is to match the upper and lower case letters together. And I'm going to print out that picture and laminate it. All of my Kinder Choices for word work, mostly focusing on letters and some CBC. And then for first grade, I also am going to add in some sight word practice for my Kinders, but I haven't decided what I want to do yet. And then for first graders up at the top, they have these drawers that hold their different sight word activities options. I'm gonna reprint these lists and I'm gonna print them with my iWords words. iWords are the sight cards that we use. They're my favorite thing in the whole world. I'll put a link in the description for you, but they are so helpful. So I'm gonna replace these lists with some iWord lists. And I keep all of my sight word activities in this little binder. And then I take the activity, I take the example that I have that's in the sheet protector and I put it right on top. So that way they know what to do and I don't really have to explain how to do any of them. I reorganized this and I added scissors and glue in here because a lot of times they do cut and paste activities and then they have to go to a table and get scissors and glue and I just thought it'd be easier if they all had it here. This isn't new, but it's right in stamp. I need to print my more papers for it. My first graders absolutely love this, so I'm leaving it in there for them. So again, I need to print the papers for it. Whenever I'm here by myself, my printer in my classroom doesn't work and I don't have access to the other printer, so I couldn't do any printing today. But these are just mix it, fix it sentences and I'm putting them in here to practice too because they have sight words and CVC words in them. These are by Just a Primary Girl on Teachers Pay Teachers, so just look up just a primary girl, mix it, fix it sentences. And that's it for first grade word work. And usually I do give them two things to do in their center folder. So, and I pull them for reading groups. So that's more than enough. And then writing, 
I kind of reorganized the wall because I just wanted to change some things up. So in March, we're gonna be focusing on, on Writer's Workshop. I still have my Writer's Workshop posters up here. These are by Tara West for our monthly word wall. I used to have a bunch of different months and then I just put the cards for the month we were in but I decided that was kind of busy. So I just have the month we're in now and all of those words here so they can write sentences or build a story. I'm gonna be introducing rainbow sentences with my first graders. This is something that I made. I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I might, I don't know, I'm not, I don't, don't have the energy to do anything now, um, but it's basically teaching them how to expand their sentences. And this worked really, really well with my first graders when I taught just first grade, so I brought it back. And then I have an example here of a writing activity that I added. Technically, we've done it before, but that was at the very beginning of the year, and I realized it was too hard, which again, my first year, my first graders, that was one of the like third or fourth month of school activities that we did. And my first graders this year, they just struggled with it. They weren't, they're not quite where my first graders were that first year. There's so many different things happening right now. So I'm bringing it back. This is by Just a Primary Girl. I love it. Another first grade activity, I always try to put a directed draw in here and then they write a sentence about it. And then this is more of a simpler writing activity. This is technically something I do with kindergarten, but I have so many first graders who this is just about on their level. For the sake of independence, I have that in here. And then I have a couple of these which I did use with my kindergarten class at the end of last year, but I think my first graders this year, um, a couple of them would enjoy doing it independently and it would be something that they like. I have maybe four or five first grade students, I would say four, who are having so much fun, like just creating silly sentences, so that's perfect for them. And then in the middle, oh, my arm's getting tired, y'all. This is basically just paper storage. So I have our writing superstar lines. This goes, ignore the train. This goes with our writing superstar song. Both of these things are in my drive folder that I have with you guys. If you go to the description box, you will see a link for all of my links. It's like bit.ly slash MCC links. And I have a folder. I have a folder on Google Drive where I share resources for free. This and this is one of them. I have to push you down. So we have writing superstar lines. We have blank paper and we have lined paper. You can't see it because the exposure is so high lined paper. And then we have these, these are little personal dictionaries. These are the I words that I was mentioning to you. And this is what they look like. They are my favorite, favorite thing. Again, the link is in the description box. It's not just a link, it's a discount for you to save money. So definitely check it out. I have my kids who even choose to pull these dictionaries out during free choice. They love them so much. So I have some more of those mix it, fix it sentences and some sentence strips here. And then this side is just kinder. It's kind of like a what's missing alphabet task card. To be honest, I don't even know who this is by. It's part of some big task card bundle that's like an early finisher. I don't know who made it though, so I'm so sorry. But <laughs> then I have these tracing, which the kinders had, but they liked them. But I added in some of the CBC writing. This is from Tara West and this was something my first graders had at the beginning of the year. I just kept changing the different uh, the different sentences. So I moved it over to kindergarten and they're going to be more excited I think because they knew that was a first grade choice and now it's something that they get to do. So I think that's actually going to make them more excited to do the center. And they have the same kind of activity activity that I put in first grade, except theirs has a sentence stem. And then, like I said, same kind of activity, um, but it's a simpler, a simpler version. So I have these in here for them too. Writing, I do have an optional one, so they need to pick from here first. Over here, so these drawers we're gonna be using more now that we're doing writer's workshop. This is for letters. I'm gonna print some more of our letter template. My students love, 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 love writing little letters to each other. These are my student names and pictures. So I have one for every single student in my class. Obviously I can't show you, but I'm going to put our letter paper in here and that way they can spell someone's name and then write them a little note. And then at the bottom is just some more choice things for writing. So those are our centers all updated. I am so freaking tired. I also cleaned a bunch of things in the classroom. I'm just ready to go. <laughs> also, would you believe that I was here for five hours, five and a half hours, and I still have a list of things that I need to do. 
when teachers say their job is never done, they mean it. Like there, there is always so much for us to do. And I feel like I have more to do just because every single year I've been teaching, it's been something different. So I can't have like any kind of super consistent flow and I have to do so many things every single year. And it's like, oh, I would love to be able to just to just pull what I need for the week and have it ready, but I can't. I have so much that I have to rethink every single year. So that was that was a little ranty. Um, let me know what you guys enjoyed most from this vlog. Again, I always appreciate you guys watching. I love your comments. I love that you guys are showing me what you're interested in week to week. It really helps me decide what to show you in the next vlog. So like this video if it was helpful. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and join our family, and I will see you in the next one, which will be tomorrow. I will see you in like 13 hours. <laughs>